Hey guys, Ashley here. Today we're going to be creating a Mickey Mouse spread and this is for the launch of Disney and the Happy Planner which is one of my favorite launches ever. So the planner I'm using is my dashboard planner by the Happy Planner. I use this one for social media, for like YouTube and Instagram and I also use it for health and fitness coaching. And I wanted Mickey to be on the left side and I wanted Mickey to be huge. So I went ahead with a pencil and I outlined Mickey and then you can see where there's like a B, that's for black, that's where I need to color it in black. The W is for white, I need to color that in white. And then the R is for red, and I will color that in red. And to do that, I'm going to use these paint pens that I picked up from Walmart. They were fairly inexpensive. This is my first time using them. And I say they turned out pretty well. I like them, and I will definitely be using them in the future. Definitely do not have a steady hand for this, but I really like the way it turned out I love that it's not like perfect and there's some jagged edges at first I was like, okay, Ashley like slow down straighten these lines out But in the end, I think it turned out fantastic. So I'm really liking it So here I'm grabbing a piece of note paper. I'm gonna use it to finish drawing out Mickey's chin. That way whenever I go off of the paper, it doesn't get onto the board that I'm uh, filming on, which is my backdrop, and then it doesn't smear onto the back of the spread, which funny story, I kinda messed all of this up, and I will explain that towards the end. So make sure you stick around if you wanna see how I messed this. Well, I didn't really mess up the entire spread, but I did mess up a big portion of it. Uh, you'll see, you'll see what I mean at the end if you stick around. Here I was checking to see how bad the bleed through was. There's quite a bit, but it's nothing it's nothing that I can't fix on next week's spread. It's nothing that I'm concerned about. I honestly expected quite, actually expected more bleed through than what actually happened. So that was kind of a nice surprise.
All right, the black is finished, and so while it's drying, I'm actually gonna start putting stickers down on the right side of the dashboard layout. So we'll just set that aside. I'm gonna pull that right side out, and we're gonna start decorating it. Decorate it, I will be using the Disney sticker book that I received inside of my squad box. The sticker book is super duper cute, and I'm really excited to dive into it with you guys. My idea over here on this side was to pull mainly red and blacks and then I ended up bringing in a pop of yellow which you'll see here in just a little bit. On Mondays and Thursdays I have my team calls. I am a health and fitness coach and on Mondays we all hop on a Zoom together, me and my team, and we talk fitness, nutrition, goals, that kind of thing. On Thursdays is usually our planner sesh or we just get on there and we just hang out and we laugh and we joke and we have a good time tool that I'm using to cut that checklist is called Slice. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. And the reason why I chose this one over some of the other paper cutting tools is because this one will not cut your skin, which is something that I, I really wanted because my son likes to come in my office sometimes and he will, you know, kind of go through my things and he gets out things and he's checking them out and he's trying them out. And as, as we know, children, for some reason, Anytime they pick up something sharp, they're like, oh, let me run this across my skin. <laughs> so I chose this one because it does not cut your skin, but it will cut paper and it works really, really well on the paper. Now this next super duper fancy tool that I have, they're tweezers. And I love using tweezers to put down smaller stickers. It makes it really easy. You can see what you're doing. And the mini mouse ears that I'm putting down for every day, these are going to be for my Instagram post. You guys, I moved this box sticker around so much. I couldn't figure out what looked good. I wanted it to look symmetrical. I wanted to have uh, two boxes on there. So I ended up moving the checklist from Tuesday and Wednesday down to Saturday and Sunday. So I'd have checklists for the weekend. And then that way those two spaces up there, I can put boxes. So I'll have two yellow boxes that I'll end up putting up there. And the one here is the one I end up moving a bunch of times.
here I ended up placing this sticker down horizontally and I moved the other one. I don't know why I thought that I would like one being vertical and one being horizontal in the same little section because that's not symmetrical. So here I was trying to find some yellow washi to incorporate a little bit more yellow, but I couldn't find any. So I ended up going with black washi and I'm gonna put it in that top left section that is labeled Monday through Sunday. Normally here what I do is I write out what YouTube videos are gonna be posted on which days. That way I keep track of that. And then I'm also gonna take that black washi and I'm gonna put it on the left side over here. That way it kind of pulls it from both pages. And then, which you'll see here in just a minute, I'm gonna take a couple of yellow box stickers to title both of these checklists over here. And that pulls the yellow in from both sides. So here I was debating on whether or not I wanted to put some more stickers down and I was also trying to figure out how I'm going to cover up that focus box there on the left side of Mickey's head and then up by his right ear it says bills to pay and I was trying to figure out how to cover those up. I wasn't sure so I ended up walking away letting the black finish drying and here I'm going to take one of the red painter markers with painter pens and I'm going to color in Mickey's tongue. So here I'm gonna take a white paint pen and I'm gonna color in the rest of Mickey white. Now you might be asking, why am I coloring this in white? It's already white. My intentions was to cover up the grid that is a part of the spread as well as that line that kind of goes right through Mickey's eyes. Now I ended up having to do two coats. I don't show you both coats, I show you the first coat. The second was the exact same, so there was no need to film it twice. But I did one coat in the white and then I let it dry and I come back and I did a second coat and I'll show you at the end how that looks. It covered up the grid as well as that line fairly well. You can still kind of see it. It's not a big deal though.
So here I'm going to take white out. We're going to cover up the bills to pay as well as that focus box. And I figured out a way that I wanted to decorate it that helps cover both of those up so they're not sticking out. Are these cute little Minnie Mouse ears and I'm going to use I both of those on either side of Mickey. That covered up the focus box on the left and then I obviously brought one in for the right to make it symmetrical. And then I'm going to take some stars and I'm going to use black, yellow, and red. We're going to put stars up top which I end up kind of reworking those. But we'll have stars in between Mickey's ears and then down on either side of him. Well, stars in between Mickey's ears are kind of too symmetrical. So I ended up taking out both of those black ones and I'm going to put, I found this little sticker that says I love Mickey and I'm going to put it in between. I did have to move that uh, yellow sticker which you'll see there. I had to move that yellow star so that would fit and it wouldn't cover that up. So I moved that. We're going to put that down. I think that looks a little bit better. If I'm honest, it's not my favorite but that's okay. It did get that covered up and you don't see that white out there. You can see it a little bit if you look closely but I'm going to take those two black stars that I have left and we're going to put those on either side as well. So here I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to create checklists for each day and I do that by creating these little dots. Sometimes I use all of them, sometimes I don't use any of them at all. Here I'm getting the sticker book back out. I'm going to grab some uh, more stars and then we're going to stick them over here on the right side and that way it pulls it from both sides. Here I'm going back over with the black paint marker and I'm going to fix the spots where I had got white paint onto the black. Now if I was to do this differently, I would probably do the white coat first because then I wouldn't have this extra step of having to go back in and correct the spots that I missed. Also when I did this, and you'll notice especially here on Mickey's mouth, I ended up making more mistakes doing it this way and I think if I would have just done the white coat first, then the black coat there wouldn't have been, well obviously this wouldn't have had to happen because I wouldn't have had this extra step, but like you can see here, I ended up making a few mistakes, had to go back in and fix them. It's not a big deal, but I'm just telling you that. So if you do something like this, kind of think about that and which coat or which layer you should do first. I would definitely flip flop these two if I was to do this again. So here's how Mickey looks up close after I finished all of the painting. Do you guys remember earlier how I said I made a mistake? Well this is when I figured that out. I realized that I did all of this on the wrong week. 
Ah, it was so frustrating. Normally, if it was just stickers, I would move all the stickers and put them on the previous week, the week that it's supposed to be on, but I can't move the paint, so that's okay. I ended up just leaving it. It's not a big deal. It, it happens. I've done this before. It is what it is, I guess. All right, that's going to be my Mickey Mouse spread for two weeks from now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video.